Python errors and exceptions. When writing a program and executing it, we often encounter errors. An error caused by not following the proper structure or the syntax of the language is called the syntax error or the parsing error. So, whenever we are writing one code and if the code is not properly written in the respective syntax as provided by Python, then obviously you are get, getting some syntax error. What is the meaning of the term syntax? Syntax means grammar. So, the grammar in which the grammar which you are supposed to follow to write the st statements in our Python programming, if we do not follow that one, then syntax error may take place. So, sometimes during runtime, the some other errors may take place and they can be also called as a semantic errors. So, syntax errors, semantic errors are there. So, while, while writing our programs in any programming languages, these short of errors may come into the play. So, example, if we miss this colon in the if statement, then the if imports are not proper, etc. So, example, if we miss colon in the if statement, then such error may take place or if the imports are not proper, then the errors may take place. Now, these are the errors. Now, what are the exceptions? So, exceptions are being raised whenever you are having erroneous conditions. So, now let us discuss our Python exceptions. Here we are having some Python built-in exceptions. So, just consider this exception and cause of error. So, one is the assertion error raised when assert statement fails. So, we are having a separate video to discuss on this assertion. Please watch that one and if the assertion is causing failure, then this assertion error will be raised. Next one is the attribute error raised one when the attribute assignment or the reference fails. Now, next one is the EOF error that is the end of file error raised when the input function hits the end of the file and it is trying to read some content from the file. So, in that case obviously, the file has got exhausted and so the error will be will be raised, the exception will be raised and that is known as EOF error. Next one is a floating point error raised when a floating point operation fails. Generator exit. So, raised when a generator's closed uh, met method, closed method is called. So, that is the generator exit. Next one is import error, raised when the imported module is not found. Let us suppose we are trying to import NumPy module, but the NumPy module is not present, then obviously the import error will come into the play. So, next one is the index error, raised when the index of a sequence is out of the range. Let us suppose we are having only 5 elements in the sequence, but you want to pick up, you want to extract or you want to pick up the 10th element from the sequence. So, obviously, it will produce some index error. So, let us go for one a practical demonstration for the better understanding of this file of this Python errors and exceptions. In this session, we are discussing Python errors and exceptions. Under the try block, we have written a is equal to one string here. And we are trying to convert this string to the integer and the assigned value will be assigned onto the variable b. But here you see one exception will be raising because we cannot convert high to an integer. So, let us execute this code and let us see that what will happen. Here you see this particular try block has got followed by the except block. So, this except block will be initiated whenever we are having some error, whenever we are having some error within the try block. So, what has happened you see whenever you are trying to convert this a to the integer it has produced one error and that is why the control has come directly to this exception block. So, here this exception block will be denoted by except and colon will be there. If I write here one statement, if I write here one statement you can find that this statement is not getting executed. That means, from this particular line where that exception has been, the error has been raised, automatically the control has come to the except block and leaving the rest part of the try block unexecuted and unreachable. But if I convert this one as 100, if I write this one as 100, you can find that I am here is getting printed. That means, the, the full try block has got executed, but exception block, the except block has got not uh, executed here because there is no exception to convert 100 which is in the form of string to integer and as I need to be. So, also we can print the value of b here.
you can find that the b is equal to 100 is getting printed so in this way we have shown you that how this try and accept blocks are working here if i convert it to high once again you can find that except block is getting control so next one is this one so catching specific exception so here a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 0 and we are trying to do a by b so as b is equal to 0 here so a by b will produce one exception here this particular error we have given the name that is the 0 division error so division by 0 is not possible that is a message to be printed here so let us go for the execution you can find that division by 0 is not possible so if i want to print the value of c you can find that that this particular line has become unreachable but if i make this one say 500 and if i make this one say 10 in that case obviously the except zero division error that block will not get the control and it will print the required value for c as 50 here so that is our catching specific exception so again you are making this one as zero you can find that it is uh, it is printing that division by zero is not possible and that means the except block is getting the control whenever we are trying to divide a by zero here b is equal to zero here so now let us go for the another one so exception can be raised also in a, in our code we can raise some exceptions so let us suppose within the try block we have raised one exception one error that is a type error and except block is handling that type error and this particular message is going to get printed so that means we can also raise our error within the try block and except block should have that particular uh, error um, code and that's why the respective body will be executed so here you see we, we are having this type error instead of this type error if we keep only this except then also the code will produce this one otherwise you can mention the you can mention except type error then also the control will be coming to this block and type error exception caught that message will get printed so now let us go for try and finally so within the try block we have written print in try block and here you see there is no exception has been raised so what will happen after execution of the try block then the final block will be executed except block will not be executed because no error has been raised here so what will happen the try block will get, will get executed and the final block will get executed so let us go for the execution so in try block in the final block you can find this but if you raise one error if you raise one error using this code that is raise type error then what will happen the try block will be executed that means this particular code will be printed this particular statement or string will get printed and then this raise type error so control will come to this except and see what happens you can find that in try block in except block in the final block that means final block will be will be executed in spite of the fact whether any error has occurred within the try block or not so that means finally block is that very block which is supposed to get executed always irrespective of the fact whether any error has occurred within the try block or not let us suppose within the try block we are opening one data file how to open one data file how to perform the read and write operations we have discussed that one in the previous videos so let us suppose we are opening one data file the data file will be open within the try block and we are trying to read or write from the data file let us suppose there is some error has occurred while reading the data file some portion of the data file has fallen on the bad sector of the hard disk in that case what will happen some io error will take place so in that case what will happen the exception will be raised and control will come to the except block but in the final block we will be keeping always the f close that means the closing of the file that very method will be called within the from the final block so what will happen whenever some error has occurred within the try block then except block will get the control and ultimately the file will be closed but while performing the reading or writing operation from the data file which is there the code has been written within the try block if there is no error has occurred then only, only also the final block will get the control and the file will be closed accordingly so that means those particular codes or statements which are supposed to get executed irrespective of the fact whether errors are occurring or not they must be written under the final block so in this way in this particular demonstration we have given you the idea what is the purpose of try block except block and the final block thanks for watching this video